If you're just overwhelmed with the Palo Alto Firewall Monitor tab, especially the traffic log, this is the video for you. So guys, now I'm gonna give you an overview of the Monitor tab. The Monitor tab is one of the most important ones on the Palo Alto. It's where you can see the traffic that's going through, what the firewall is actually doing with the, uh, with the traffic. And here on the left side, you have logs, traffic, threat, URL filtering, you can see all these kind of uh, logs. The most important one is of course the traffic, um, where you see the, the traffic that's going through through the firewall and that what the firewall is doing with it, if it's blocking, if it's allowing it. I'm gonna keep most of the time in this um, tab. Under receive time, you can see the time that uh, the, the, the log was being set on the firewall. Depends on your configuration, if it had been set on the beginning of the session or on the end of the, in the end of the session, which is the time that has been set. The type of the, conf the connection, it end, it means that the connection is already over, has been come to an end. From which zone, security zone it came from. The source, IP address. Speaking about the source IP address, you, can, you have down here resolve host name that you can click. If you, if you don't want to see the IP address, you can let it, leave it clicked. And then you would see the DNS name. I don't have a DNS name configured in my lab now, so we don't see anything. But if you had in your environment, so you would see the name of the, the, the source um, server. The source user, if you have some user ID on your network. Source dynamic address group, this one I actually don't really use and dynamic user group these two you can build some dynamic address groups or d dynamic user groups based on the tags of the objects so you can set objects with a tag group one and if you configure a group that takes all the tags in group one it automatically joins this object to this group but this is a topic for another another day but these ones that don't i don't use i'm going to give you a tip how you can do to hide these you can click here on this little, if you come with the mouse, sorry, I was a little bit fast. If you come here with the mouse very slowly, you're going to see a little arrow pointing down. If you click on this arrow, go to columns, and then you go to, uh, where is it? Source dynamic user group, for example, and source dynamic address group. These ones I don't need. I can choose. You can leave if you need. I never used this before, so I'll just remove them. This one also, destination dynamic address groups. I've never done anything with this dynamic address group, but could be interesting for some companies for some cases. No? I'll just click it out. So I have from zone. By the way, this two zone was before was here. I moved before this video. I will just show you how to move. You just click on top of the, the word or the words and you just drag to the side where you want. I like to have source on one side, destination on the other side. So for me, it's easier to see the traffic. So destination IP address server, and if you have DNS, the destination port, I have only ping here on my log, so the, the port is zero, but if you had some SSH, for example, you would be showing here 22, if it's the <laughs> default port, of course. The application that the Palo Alto uh, recognizes, Palo Alto has a very long list of applications that it recognizes based on the kind of traffic and it would be showing here if it was if there was an application recognized. Otherwise, it would be showing unknown, unknown something. Action um, can be allow, can be deny, can be reset. Um, there are a couple of different actions. In my case here, everything was allowed, so um, so the Palo Alto didn't change anything on the traffic. Speaking about this. There is this option here also on the bottom, highlight policy action. Um, if I had one deny or something that the Palo, Palo Alto changed, they would color this line like orange or something. This, action, this option is actually really good that you can see directly what is the Palo Alto changing on my, on my traffic. Because if the traffic is allowed, so the file was not changing anything. But if the traffic has been denied, so the Palo Alto is changing something, and I would like to see what it's changing. And it shows you really red uh, when there's something changed. The rule that you have that is allowing this or blocking this, what's the name of the rule? Session end reason, it gives you a reason why the session has been ended. In this case, aged out, the session came to an end, and then 
that's it. How many bytes has been transported through this session? You have some special HTTP2 uh, connection. This one I also disable in my firewall. SD1, SD1, if you have SD1 uh, configured in a network, you're gonna show you the name of the site. This app flap count, it's also a number of times the, the, the link flapped in the session. And the SD1, SD1 policy name if you're using SD1 again. Yeah, this is the traffic monitor. You have also the session browser on the bottom. Sometimes, for example, for if you configure a, a rule under policies, and you set the rule to log only in the end of the session. And you have, for example, a session to a database. It can take very long to be to come to an end. So if you don't find this session in the traffic, probably you wouldn't. So you can come here to the session browser and here you can see all the open sessions. There are now, usually there are a lot, but you can filter them. Speaking about the filter, uh, there's something I almost didn't mention. Here on the filter, you can filter by clicking on the on one of the fields and then you can change the IP if you want but at least when you click you have the you have the let's say the code or the name of the field inside so I want to see okay only source address 15 and then I can press either enter or the little arrow here apply filter so this filter is applied here you can see that there was something blocked before as I mentioned before about the highlight policy actions there you go. And then it shows, the, so the action has been denied. And then here it shows the rule that was being denied before. When I was configuring the firewall, the, this ICMP rule was still not there. So there was some traffic being blocked. After I set the ICMP rule above the deny any, of course the policy uh, rules I'm gonna cover in another video. But then it was, the traffic has started to being allowed. Here on the right side, you have also a uh, button called add filter you can also add the filter um, it shows you all the options that you have to 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 build the filter if you want i want the destination ip address destination address in 10025 when you press add the filter is gonna complete with the with this information and i want also the application equal I want the ping and it shows me the ping I press add and then I press apply I'm gonna see here that the the, the filter has been uh, completed and then I have to of course press apply filter probably it was gonna show me the same thing because I have ping and I have the destination yeah there you go so this is the filter set here this is another way for you to set the filter if you don't want to click here the options and then change on top if you want to save the filter, if it's a filter that you use many times, you can also use here save filter and choose a name and the filter is going to be saved. And I think here you can load the, yeah, here you can load the filter, any filter that has been changed, uh, saved. Uh, filter 1, press OK, so it has been saved. And I can press here and say, OK, I want to load filter 1, press OK, and it's loaded. I'm gonna erase this. So now I'm gonna load the filter, filter one, okay, there you go, the filter has been loaded. He have also another option, instead of updating the, the logs every time that you press a button, you can also tell the, the firewall that you should update every 10 seconds, every 30 seconds, or every 60 seconds. Sometimes I use this 10 seconds when I want to, yeah, when I want to, to the, 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 the firewall to update, uh, when I'm observing and when I'm expecting something to, to happen, I just press the 10 seconds um, or just choose the 10 seconds and then it helps me. But usually I have manually 30 seconds and sec sec 60 seconds I actually never use. It's either 10 seconds or manual, but it's up to you. So guys, that's it. If you liked the video, you got some value from it, just give me a thumbs up or a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel. It's going to help more people to get um, to get to see a video like this. And... Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.